Hi, this is Blake. Apparently I'm shaving his hair now. I've never done this. Yeah. So. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> you should have studied. Studied what? You should have studied so you could pass the test. What test? Um. <laughs> <laughs> the final exam! Why do you want to judge? Busty boy. I will. Oh, Pubes. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay. Okay. I have been brought into Blakey's house. Hello. And he is gonna show me his well, reptiles. 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 Yes. reptiles. You can go ahead and just sit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm gonna bring it to you. So, <laughs> this is a Madagascan hissing cockroach. Yes. Her name is Lovebug. And as the name suggests, they're from Madagascar. Now they get their name because as a defense mechanism, they will shoot air out of the sides of their bodies called spiracles. Ah! I shall get on my knees. Give me this roach. Oh, sure. <laughs> 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 okay, take it back. Okay. What the f ah. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> These are the turd snakes. I call them turd snakes because they literally look like just big pieces of shit. They're viper boas. This is bop bop. This is the female right here. They're a wee bit cold, but they're okay. Oh, she thick. Yeah, she thick. Oh, look dang. at that. And then this is her boyfriend foot. I like them. I want yes. a snake. He's a lot more wiry. So they're from Papua New Guinea. Um, they live primarily on the ground. They're also found in water pretty much wherever they're found. So females for Many species of snakes are larger than males, and that's a term called sexual dimorphism. Um, usually, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> For kith. <laughs> what are the names? Oh, this is bop bop, and this is foot. Bop is... bop bop bop. <laughs> For all you people that are thinking about getting um, a reptile, try your very best in all situations to get captive bred animals. I have wild caught ones here only because I am planning on breeding more so that I can have captive bred animals and introduce captive bred animals into the market. Wild caught animals usually don't live as long, so I always try to go for captive bred. Sneaky yeah. snake. Yes. <laughs> I spent $500 on this snake. Why? <laughs> because like I really like, I have a very eclectic taste in reptiles. Like, just things that a lot of other people don't have. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, yeah. So I'll, I'll just keep a... Yeah. I'll hold this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is Gummy. She's very active, as you can see. She's not gonna hurt you or anything. Okay. Um, she's a yellowtail Kribo. They're found in South America, pretty much in uh, Northern South America, like Guyana and uh, Suriname, I think. She'll tuck her out eventually. Oh, she... <laughs> Poor <laughs> egg. Dang. They'll eat other snakes too, which I think is really great. So um, that don't ever kill snakes. One because like they might be eating the venomous ones because indigo snakes and these snakes are immune to venoms of the snakes that live around them. Mm -hmm. So they'll eat them for fun. Damn. Yeah, and she's like super active. But she'll eventually just kind of chill out. Oh, oh, a place to hide. <laughs> Do you ever cuddle with your snakes? Um, I cuddle with mimosa. I actually shower with mimosa. Yeah, like I'll take her in there and... Which one's one was that? The one in there. Oh wait, I haven't met her yet? No, we have not met her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shower with the snake. Yes! Gummy! Gummy! <laughs> so this is Mimosa. Mimosa is a yellow anaconda. There are four species of anaconda. Mickey Magash. Stop. <laughs> yeah, but she's the smallest of the four species of anaconda. Females get larger than males, so she'll probably max out about maybe uh, eight to ten feet long. They're very girthy snakes. Oh my God. Anacondas live in water. They have big bodies that need to be supported by large bodies of water. So how do you shower with her? So I will pretty much just put her around my neck and hop in the shower, and when it's time to do my shampoo, I'll put her on the shower like curtain rack thing, and she'll just kind of sit there while I like do my hair. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'll just be holding her while I while I clean myself. That's a goal. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And when I first got her, she was an absolute like train wreck, like just an asshole. I like like doing this. <laughs> yes. That's actually a good way to tell if a snake is dehydrated. So if you pinch it, 
and it goes back to normal, then it's hydrated. But if you pinch it and it stays pinched, then it's dehydrated. What? Mm -hmm. And if I put her outside in the sunlight, um, her darker patches here, all the black spots, will get all like rainbowy and iridescent. Maybe we can go outside and like get a, a shot of that. Yes. Yeah. That is so nice. Dang, she's pretty. Yeah. Oh, hello! <laughs> it's so cute! Yeah. Oh. Dinner is served. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Buddy. She's an Argentine black and white tegu. They're from Argentina, Paraguay, uh, Brazil. Um, they're kind of just like trash animals where, where like where they're from. Like people don't pay them really mi any mind. Like like we treat pigeons. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So just like with snakes, um, they'll use that tongue. Here, let's get a shot of that. Take that tongue time. sticking out to smell, and they'll stick it out, and then they'll bring it back into their mouths, and they'll place it to the roof of their mouth where there's an organ called the Jacobson's organ, and they'll that organ pretty much tells them is scent particles coming from the left. We're coming from the right of my tongue. Oh. Um, so, tegu lizards like this one, there's some shed there, um, they can lose their tails and they grow them back. But monitor lizards don't do that. Oh. Yeah. She's very curious too. I'd compare her to like having a two year old, but like it lasts for 15 years. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything like crazy she can do? Um, she can do a backflip. What? <laughs> no. I have taught her to go to the bathroom in the bathtub if I fill it up with water. Yeah, she'll just let out a big fart and some like shit will come out. I love you. <laughs> this is Buddy. Buddy, the Argentine black and white tegu lizard. Freaking wow. Wow. <laughs> what a little chickadee. <laughs> Baby. Yeah. Welcome. Oh my god, oh. I can't her face. Okay, this is Smokey. Yes, yeah, Smokey is my baby boy muffin chicken. If you don't uh. recognize this face, you will now. <laughs> this is Smokey. He's my best friend. So my sh strong. shoulder to cry on. My fluffy. Uh, uh. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought about like remaking it or not? I've made some remakes before, but they never really took off as much as the other the first one did. Yeah. Yeah. I made that vine back in September of twenty fourteen and then it just kinda blew up and uh I put acted like I didn't know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> and I never did anything with the video though. Like I had people reaching out to me to do like uh like movie theater commercials and in, in the UK and like some people wanted to use it for their music and for their video games and just a lot of people wanted to use it but I didn't do anything with it because I was 16 yeah. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing um he's not having it yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you for stopping by to Blake's place and uh, yes I hope you guys enjoyed it please like and subscribe please Follow Thank me you. on Instagram. Blake has snakes. There it is. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs>